Good afternoon, welcome back to Comic Book Cretin. Uh, today we are going to be looking at the London bus. Okay, it's a beautiful model. It's been a lot of fun to build. Um, didn't take me very long, it took me a couple of days. Not really, you know, putting a lot of uh, hours into this. It's, what, 1,686 pieces, uh, part of the um, LEGO Creator expert model which I guess means that it's a little bit more advanced than you know other uh, other types of Lego you can get but not that difficult to put together by any means a few fiddly bits but generally quite uh, yeah just quite a nice build nice and relaxed great to listen to music great to kind of meditate while I'm doing this chill out help to see this you know difficult period of the coronavirus through in China so this for me is quite symbolic um, uh, if you, as you can see it says Brixton on the front um, spelt slightly different to the actual part of London um, where Brixton Academy is located and this is where I first saw Motorhead my favorite band as you can probably see um, so I have this great model I have a model of Lemmy the iconic bass player and oh, I also have an empty bottle of Motorhead Red Crew beer. Uh, you should definitely try this if you like drinking. It's absolutely delicious and it's 5% so it's quite strong. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at some time lapse of how this is being built before we go into looking at some of the features of the model. Fucking hour again! In case you're in the wrong show, by mistake, we are Motorhead. And we are gonna clean your clock. So here it is, the uh, London bus. Took me, I don't know, took me a couple of days to complete this. 
it was not at all challenging it was just absolutely fun uh, lots of stickers I would say that's the biggest challenge would be getting the stickers right if you look at the closely up at the number nine let's zoom in on that you'll see in the corner I had to peel that off uh, I'm not very good with stickers unfortunately but um, yeah it took me a few days I really really enjoyed this and it, I would say in terms of pride of place on my shelf it's it's almost up there with the Batmobile I think it's really 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 cool um, and of course as I mentioned before um, it has the motorhead connection uh, the fact that it has Brixton on the front and Brixton Academy 2000 October 2000 was the first time I saw motorhead Brian May came on to play with them that night I think overkill um, yeah, it was a it was a great night, and with my Lemmy, little Lemmy figure, you know, st stood next to it. It's um it's a fitting reminder to that, you know, that amazing gig. So this is the uh, bus, kind of separate out into the sections. Um, there are a few nice little touches here. Um, firstly the uh the wheels. There's no steering like on the uh, Batmobile or the Ford Mustang, which is quite nice, I think. This feels more like a, a like a kid's toy, and the Ford Mustang. The, I read a review or I watched a review, sorry, and it said that the Ford Mustang could be used as a toy, and I disagreed. I think this this one could be used as a toy. It feels a lot more sturdy than the Mustang. Um, uh, you know, it just goes backwards and forwards. It doesn't. You know, the the steering doesn't go left and right. So in that way, it feels like the the wheels are a lot more solid. Um, if we look at the back, you know, where the passengers get on, um, I don't know if you can see it clearly, but if you go, if you look just here, there is a nice little umbrella, and also you have a ticket box, okay? So that's a nice little, uh, nice little touch. Also, there are stains on the seat. Yeah, we don't want this London bus looking too uh, immaculate. So Lego came up with some stickers to, to represent stains on the seat, which is pretty cool. Um, anything else? I mean, I can't really see, you can't really see it, I don't think. But under one of the seats, you have a piece of bubble gum. Again, this represents the tattiness of some, some of the buses in the uh, capital city of the UK. Um, if you can just see over there, if you come up the stairs, um, there is a, uh, a newspaper waiting. Okay, so yeah, overall it's really, really nice. Uh, I love the stickers. Let me put this back together again, it shows how easy it is to do. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. The stickers are cool, um, and you can flip them, so you can take them off, turn them around, so that you have a different, you know, design, if you want to, you know, just change the look of it every now and then. And the roof fits on very nicely. Get on, get on. Okay. That's not fitting on particularly well, but it does generally, maybe I've got it the wrong way around, which shouldn't make a difference. Okay, so there we have the London bus. This was just over a hundred pounds, I believe. Uh, I bought this along with the um, Aston Martin DB5 uh, because of obviously being stuck at home at the moment. Uh, so I thought I'd make this one first for my Lemmy statue, and. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting my hands on the, uh, or, or, or to completing the Aston Martin today. I don't want to go through these too quickly because we have quite a bit of time on our hands at the moment. Uh, and these do relieve some of the boredom of, of a particularly kind of weird time here in, in Shanghai. So, uh, yeah, 
I think after this I did say that I probably wouldn't buy another Lego model for a while but I can see myself being drawn to the uh, Land Rover. Not a massive fan of cars even though I have three automobiles, four automobiles that I've bought. Um, but the Land Rover does look pretty difficult. Not difficult but pretty technical to put together. So um, yeah that's going to be my next purchase I think. So that concludes the uh, London bus Lego model. Uh, next up will be the DD5 Aston Martin, uh, James Bond's car. Um, yeah, there's about, I think, 1,300 pieces here. So that's going to keep me going for a, another couple of days, and I'll make a video about this when we're, um, you know, when I'm making it. Uh, a big shout out to my little buddy Max, who is also a budding uh, Lego enthusiast. He's recently been working his way through the Batmobile and the Land Rover. Actually, he's got more than me. Uh, be cool if he made some videos, actually. And uh, Sean Leahy, uh, who's in the UK at the moment, is going to be able to get to see the London buses in all their glory. Um, so, I think, yeah, next it's going to be the uh, Aston Martin. And then I think maybe a few comic books. Give Lego a little bit of a breather. Give my bank balance a little bit of a breather. And uh, then possibly, yeah, maybe the Land Rover actually, I'm not sure. Or maybe, hopefully I can get my hands on the uh, Batman Tumblr, which is, I mean, that will sit very, very well next to my uh, 1989 Batman. So, uh, yeah, if you like this video, please hit the like or subscribe. Any comments, any questions, any bullshit, that's cool. So, um, yeah, I shall see you next time.